picture. Here we go, ladies and gentlemen. Welcome to the Bitcoin SV channel. I'm here today with a special round table. Everyone give a wave. Yay! Hey. Hey. So it's a bit different today. We're mixing it up. And that's what we love about on this channel. So I suppose the first thing first is to say, um, we're, well, Women of BSV is a new group. Why don't someone tell us about how it was formed? Someone jump in. Come on. Should I do? Yeah, go, go on. Go on. Just quickly on this one then. So it's uh, Sean, so Toshi from, um, you know, the Satoshi Live at Five, uh, he decided to put a, a Women of BSV group together on Twitch. So that's where I came into it. And then these lovely ladies here as well are all part of that. And from the hopefully extra people as well. So that's that's initially where Binny, Women of BSV came from. So I have to do a little shout out to Satoshi for actually doing that for us. But we're going to take it bigger, better, stronger, and we're going to go worldwide. <laughs> oh, yeah. Fast <laughs> and furious. We are going to be the women of BSV that are going to make a difference to this space. Oh, wonderful. Yes, that's right. <laughs> and, and the thing is, I, all, all, of all you, around the world, all, all of you good people have been involved in, in BSV in one way or another. Uh, you know, some of you have recently come back from CoinGeek. Um, so w why don't we just start off? Uh, Casey, you, you could be the first one. Introduce yourself and tell, tell people what you do and what you're interested in BSV is that be a great start uh well hi nice to meet everyone I'm Casey Hamilton and I am just a investor in the cryptocurrency space I originally was you know um introduced to ethereum and from there was very excited uh as a single mom I, I thought this is gonna be you know my ticket out of <clears throat> you know, financial stress. And so I, with Coinbase, started investing and diversifying, um, learning the exchanges um, into a bunch of ERC-20 tokens and was just very excited about what was coming. And then someone came along one day and told me about the civil war that was fought over the protocol of Bitcoin, how it was still ongoing. And I, um, with my intuition, was just like, ping, 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 something is going on here. So <laughs> I um, started, you know, deep diving and doing my own research and um, came to find out uh, up to this day that I do believe Bitcoin SV is um, the most liberating technology humanity could employ to get out from under the uh, paper currency scam we're all being enslaved with and uh, the nefarious activities of a lot of the people and you know, making our policies and stuff, it, it kind of takes their power away. So I got real excited about it. And um, learning about all the multiple streams of income I could uh, um, you know, generate for myself with um, the micropayments on these different social networking and advertising platforms, um, just organically from kind of getting on Clubhouse and talking about it, I developed a um, what I call turnkey blockchain based business model that anyone can duplicate, um, which I've curated the information about at take your advantage the blockchain.com. And that teaches anyone how to create five, 10, even 15 plus streams of micropayments of Bitcoin coming in with like no customer management. So um, it was like a real big deal as a digital marketer for me to find this um, whole ecosystem that I could um, you know, not only used to create my generational wealth, but also to um, empower anyone that was listening and swimming towards me um, with the same abilities to do for themselves. So, um, Sir Toshi took notice of my shit talking to some of the laser eyed people <laughs> on Twitter and, uh, you know, just threw me into the women in BSV group. So, I'm happy to be here and thanks for letting me share. Amazing. Who's next? Who wants to introduce themselves? Take that talking stick. <laughs> Rory, why don't you go All next? All right. Hello. Okay, great. So delighted to be here, Shem. Uh, I think that to tell the story, it would really be about how I was mostly, what do you call those, lurkers? <laughs> I was the, the lurker in BSV, and I would listen <laughs> to your shows. I would listen to River. I would listen to Ruth. I would listen to Diddy on many channels. And then even Micah, I saw playing music on your show. I think it was well over a year ago. And uh, that was very inspiring. Uh, one day 
I had seen uh, both George Gilder and Craig Wright talking about enterprise data and the whole information age on Bitcoin. So I promptly uh, left my position with the company I was working at <laughs> and just took a leap of faith like Indiana Jones and uh, found a way to uh, continue working in this field, but uh, you know, all just very organically. So I saw River post that George Gilder was going to be at the London Coin Geek Conference. So while I was uh, completely debt free, I had just suddenly charged plane tickets on my credit card. <laughs> and I went to London and I went to meet everybody in person. And I even, I did see River there. We were on the dance floor at the party and I had no idea. I was like, oh my gosh, it's River. And I saw Ruth there as well. And it was, uh, oh, and I saw you, Shem, there at all of the, uh, the different events that we had. And uh, it was just amazing. So from that point, I went from being a lurker to being an actual person that people knew was not necessarily a troll. So from there, I got to network with a higher and higher quality until today where we're in this group on Twitch, the social media platform that runs on Bitcoin, Satoshi Vision and uh, Satoshi, who, you know, I used to feel was a little bit rude. I think he's here in the <laughs> chat. Uh, when I met him in person, I loved him. I, love I being said, rude. oh, yes, you know, I said, he's great. He's so sincere. And he's so knowledgeable. So I really do look to Sertoshi uh, with lots of questions and, you know, to get down to the, the technical details. And I also try to raise awareness within my own personal network. So I do believe in the power of one person. And that means all one persons, you know, peer to peer, uh, we can really raise awareness. So we don't have to be, uh, you know, on some large platform, we can be sincere and heart to heart, person to person, raise awareness, and then people can learn and we can all get engaged and usher in this information age that is wonderful for everybody and for all businesses. And it's super exciting. So now I am uh, working with a new team ever more and more. It is top secret, just like you, Shem. We <laughs> do like to keep things under hat or as you say. But I'm really thrilled to meet so many wonderful people. And in the chat that Sertoshi started, it led to more. So you meet one person, you have one ladies chat, and then you have another chat, and then you meet someone else. And then suddenly you're fully engaged on every day of the week with different people brainstorming and building. So it's super exciting and I'm thrilled. Absolutely amazing. <laughs> and a shout out to you, Toshi, yeah. for... For starting the group. <laughs> yeah. Well, you, you know what's kind of, you know what's kind of funny. I, I I knew somebody had to get the party started, so I, I just called it you know, women in in BSV and got all the girls together. And then and then when when the late arrivals started joining, they were just like, "What's Toshi doing in in it?" I was just like, "Yeah, <laughs> yeah kick him out." out. <laughs> somebody had to get this party started. You know Bless I mean? you. Exactly. One wonderful comments yeah. there, Rory, and very inspiring as well, Casey. You know, uh, Eva, why didn't you introduce yourself? Yourself, please. Eva. I think she's muted. Yes. Now I do say oh, Dr. Sorry. Eva. Eva oh. has her PhD. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you. And I'm sorry, I tried to unlock myself uh, out of this mouthpiece and, and made myself a mess. Anyways, hello <laughs> to everybody. Thank you so much for the invitation to be a part of this uh, wonderful uh, moment. Of, of many things of joy and of sharing uh, knowledge and experience and also plans for the future so so thank you very much again and i i am just i'm a person who loves to study and i'm a phd in finance i was in that let's say that kind of um, study line and at some point i was looking into the cyberpunks around 2011 and this is how i found the protocol you know i read the protocol satoshi is a protocol and I absolutely fall in love with it. And I thought, you know, this is it. And I'm going to follow up on it and see how things develop. And I was following up on it. And at some point around, I think it was 2017, 2018, I got super busy. And I, for like, I don't know, a year, I was not very much following up. When I turned my head around, then I couldn't catch up. It was unreal, you know, the explosion mm. of work and enthusiasm. 
um, in you know in the many promising uh, you know fields of development um, of the technology so basically i am very focused on that i am focused on applications this is uh, what interests me the most uh, for me the markets are secondary even though you know from the let's say from my career my phd was in uh, in um, bubbles and contagion in financial markets so that that was the subject of my dissertation and so they, therefore they are of interest to me naturally you know but i think the application of the technology um is the most important thing is where the value lays and um, you know i'm just um, happy to be in this ecosystem and to to work for it and enjoy what everybody here is enjoying as well that's phenomenal so this thank, is me <laughs> thank you eva it's a pleasure to have you on the show tonight first time i, I believe it uh ruth hessman please introduce yourself and your expertise blah 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 Oh, expertise. Mm. Many, um, no, many things. <laughs> no, I've just been uh, in BTC since 2010. I've just been here a really, really long time, and that's about it, honestly. Brutal um, OG. Yeah, <laughs> but like, <laughs> I'm clinging on by my fingernails at the minute, I think. I, I, I feel like I've been here so long, I should probably go and do something else. But um, no, I absolutely adore BSV. I, the minute that it arrived on the scene in 2018, I was like, okay selling everything else uh this is the one and as far as i'm concerned it's the only one that can scale so it's the only one that's going to have any uh, power in the world power to change anything for the better so i don't see the point in really looking at or investing in anything else um and uh, i think having sort of a women uh group is a great idea because i just think we're natural networkers and we talk and we have kind of a unique perspective and i think we can all bring something really personal to this as well so we're all going to bring different stuff to it um you know diddy makes some great how-to videos so i think he's going to do a bit more of that um okay. you know i think what we're going to do is probably going to have a, a website in the end and people are going to be able to contribute whatever really floats their boat that's an awesome it. idea absolutely so um yeah that's that's the idea but you know we've got to kind of get it up and running but um i, I you know like my my interest really is a sort of a philosophical uh aspect more than anything else um but i i'm very very interested in how the technology is shaping the world how how the blockchain is shaping the world currently and the ethics and ethical considerations around that i think that's a big deal so that's probably what I'm going to be focusing on is that kind of thing. But we've all got these different strengths and talents. I mean, Casey is just like a marketing genius. I, we've had these fantastic conversations over the last few weeks uh, where I've just kind of learned what everybody's strengths are. Uh, and Rory's like a master educator. Is that a fair thing to say? <laughs> that's what, yes, that's what's coming big across. learner. Right, sure. Yeah. Mm -hmm. um, so I think we've all got different things. River, of course, we all know. River's like multi-talented, so she can do just about anything. Um, you know, um, Micah as well, and Eva I've only just met, but she seems absolutely wonderful. It's great to have a, a high-level businesswoman with a PhD on the conversation, never a bad thing. So um, I just, I, I think that we've got like, just a different take on the space and you know it was some original things to say basically mm -hmm. and and we're going to create some different kinds of things that, that mm -hmm. have been created so far that's a really great point i think that would be our second question to kick start the group conversation is what's your take on the space so just hold tight with that in your mind um mika please introduce yourself yes hello everyone hello from germany out of my garden in cologne and Cheers. i'm I was so happy uh, that I could take part at the Coin Geek Zurich in person and it was such an amazing atmosphere and I mean, you know, there's still some uh, trolls trying to uh, uh, speak negatively about BSV, but if you know, if you were there in person and if you would look behind the scenes in the BSV ecosystem, all big players are getting into BSV currently now in, within the next one two years and then no troll has any chance anymore 
And we, um, I'm in the team of Smart Ledger Solutions and also in some other blockchain companies that are just building up. We are really so uh, happy to, to be a great part in this ecosystem. Rory is on the team, uh, Eva is also on the team and some more wonderful people and um, if I, I would love to, uh, to tell you all with, with, with which companies that we are already uh, in, in contact, uh, but I, I bet that you will know it uh, latest in October at the Coin Geek in New York. Wow. Phenomenal. River. It's exciting. That's it. Very exciting. <laughs> Amazing, Meek. How do you put it? Is it Meek? Meek? Micah. 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 Okay. Yeah. Beautiful. Thank you. Um, hi, everyone. I'm so happy to be here. Sham, I've missed your show so much. We need to catch up. <laughs> I know. <laughs> God, it has been such a long time. I'm so glad to she's in here as well. Oh, so beautiful. Um, I'm River, everyone. I um, am currently involved in Bitcoin's Got Talent, um, formerly a part of the Stream Manity team, um, RelayX, um, a few other things as well. Uh, but yeah, I mean, that's 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 basically it. I'm, I'm kind of on the sidelines as far as the BOSV ecosystem goes right now because I'm focusing on a few personal projects. But um, I'm always so excited to, to get back together with you all and, and see what's happening in the space and and yeah <laughs> that's basically it so so why don't we start off i mean what is everyone's take on the space i feel real energy today and excitement a buzz and and it's a very uh uh it's a phenomenal thing to witness i can't help but feel you know M micah your energy and 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 it, uh, all of you have got an interesting perspective and i just want to say what's your take on the space what's the good things what's the bad things what do we need to move on what's your insight from your perspective perspective from what you're seeing and the experiences that you've had in this space because obviously a lot of you have got uh, transferable skills uh interesting viewpoints you've had experience with businesses and apps and and we're always we're all here together looking to learn as well as the audience you know i'm learning with them so i'm part of that audience as well um i'll throw the talking stick first at uh, uh uh micah but i i'd love it micah you throw it to other people and but let's start getting mixing it up jump in you know the less i talk the better thank you twitch people <laughs> <laughs> so i mean we are in a time where so many things are at the beginning and still developing so we see uh, a lot of things are going on and will develop in the next upcoming years imagine i i or, or how i look at the things is like at the beginning of the internet like the beginning of 2000s and now like many companies don't even know much about the blockchain technology maybe they heard the word bitcoin so far so this is the right time to get into the, the ecosystem, to, uh, to go into the scene and bring up the companies. And um, with BSV, I mean, the, this is a technology. I, I, I look at it as a toolbox. So it offers you the most uh, diverse tools that you can get into in the space. What, when it comes to scalability, when it comes to compliance, when it comes to uh, block size and uh, transaction fees, I could go on and on. So BSV is, you have the greatest tool that you can get in the ecosystem. So, and it is up to us what we will do and create and bring to the societies with co companies or we provide this technology to industries that are already existing, but we will disrupt the space in many industries and in all the areas so i think the limitations it's not uh, the the technology it's what our mind brings up what we can create what what our inspiration tells us so i think it's a phase that we are in where we can create a lot of things go and jump in people and I, if I may, I was watching the Quinky uh, Zurich conference from home, and it was very exciting to see all of the panels. And 
at the very end, I did see Ava give a presentation with several colleagues and found it very exciting to see her there and uh, speaking about uh, the topics with the fellows in the, in the industry. And then also at the end, Micah came up and gave a brief introduction. And I was so impressed because uh, I, I think she has a background in music as well as uh, business as does Diddy. And so I think that having multiple hobbies or interests, it really uh, lends itself to being successful in, in, in this arena. You stood on stage and it was so beautiful. I felt so proud. I thought, wow, I know Ava, I know Micah. And I was just cheering for you uh, from home. And I know that recently on Streamanity, I did see Diddy made a music video featuring uh her new hairstyle <laughs> and it was super cool and oh, thank the you. thing yes the thing that i noticed is that you know with um presentation you know so many times uh we see things especially in the bitcoin world you'll see women involved in bitcoin and they're in you know just kind of uh seductive poses and, you know, that can't be helped sometimes. We're just beautiful. We can't help it. <laughs> but also we can have some uh, grace as well. And like um, in the vein of, um, oh, what is her name? Eddie, you know, she's married to Paul Simon. You know that musician? Oh, uh, Paul, Paul, Eddie uh, Brickell? Uh, Simon and Garfunkel. Yes, exactly. Eddie, Eddie Brickell. Yeah. So when she sings, she's really singing and she's just singing. And, you know, that Diddy had such a presence and she was singing. She was present and it pulled you in. But at the same time, it was as an individual, it was natural. Mm -hmm. And so I feel like that's for all of us, you know, um, also in this scene, we're very focused on health. I've learned a lot from River and from Casey about health and how to be more healthy. So even in our chat, yes. Oh, and Ruth too, is that it? Mm -hmm. Okay, yes. So I think this is another aspect is that we are genuine individual women who, yes, mm -hmm. you know, we're bodacious and all that, but we also are very genuine. Wonderful. Very true, very true. I think, no, I think we're a great bunch of people. I mean, we're all super intelligent, which is nice. <laughs> um, you know, to, it feels like a very exclusive club isn't it and bsv <laughs> Very you really, you, yeah but you you wouldn't be able to say that in a lot of the other cryptos honestly you know people who found their way here are not dumb um so i yeah i i don't know i, I think there's just like a whole lot of like you say Rory, good energy and open hearts and that goes a heck of a long way and also just a light light energy i would say you know because there's a lot of kind of heavy stuff in in crypto and bitcoin lately and it can get really sort of bogged down uh with arguments and i hate to be cliche but a lot of male energy let's be honest um and it's and i think it's nice to to have supportive light uh conversations where we're just talking about our different sort of creativity that we bring um and and merging that together and kind of doing a bit of jazz with it you know we're gonna we should end up with something really yeah. inventive and creative and probably a bit weird I, but, you know, I actually agree with um when i first came in in sort of november december 2017 and then the very start of it i found it really difficult to be able to just have the courage to speak to people and just say how you felt about things mm. or if you didn't understand so because of the the kind of aggression that seemed to be in the space so mm. over time as well realizing you know things like i mean i i was there at the um oh the thing we did with shem when we uh what was that the uh, block thing that we did oh gosh i've gone all oh stress right test. the blast the yeah blast. the data blast. Yeah. Yeah, that's it. Mm -hmm. so when we did the data blast and everything it gave me a real insight more as to how things were operating and what was going on which i thought was great and the fork and so so over time i think the more i've actually learned the less the testosterone has been flying around and the more the rainbow hugs filled with love have been plastered <laughs> at people <laughs> just to kind of, i mean i don't know about you but i know a lot like they came from my niece okay 
because we can't hug and stuff because of COVID. It came from rainbow hugs filled with love from my niece, you see. So I thought, well, if I oh. throw some of this around, maybe it might just <laughs> stop them from being so bitter with each other over certain aspects of things. And I think it may have just stopped a few people in this foot, you know, going like, well, what the hell is this all, all about? Just to put some interjection of life in there and light in there. Like, like with River as well, everything is love and light, you know? Um, <laughs> which makes for a far nicer and far more enjoyable working space I don't know if you agree yeah. with that but I certainly do it's nice to just interject those things every now and again absolutely so. absolutely and it's so important too I think that there's so many there is a there is a, a really really strong because we're kind of fighting you know the whole energy of BSV essentially comes from you know that something was stolen from us that you know we're 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 we're, we're working on this you know a higher ulterior motive you know kind of journey which we're not recognized and i think it's so important to get back and recognize that actually it's it's so not important to sit there on social media fighting with people who don't have the same vision as you and in fact if it is a superior blockchain people are going to keep building and, and if you build and if you build and if you just kind of do your own thing for a little while eventually the the the, the technology will, will speak for itself and there's no point to all this negative energy spreading around on social media and you know I, 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 I've kind of like stepped back from the space a little bit um, and I'm not even getting involved with any of this stuff on, on social media, but there was a, I did notice that there was a lot of stuff around the CoinGeek conference, that there was a lot of kind of negative back and forth happening there. And, and I just kind of look at it and I think it's so much better to not engage and just mm. build and just mm -hmm. do the stuff that you came here to do. And, you know, if it is something that will change the world, it will speak for itself eventually when it's ready. Amazing. Good point. Well, Good that's point. That's what I focus on when I'm talking to my clients about, um, you know, securing their entire network on the MetaNet, because we don't have to fight the old anymore. There's, it's just such a waste of energy because the yeah. new has been built, mm -hmm. makes all of that completely obsolete. So, you know, we all know what's ha happening on the legacy internet. We've been there. We've been feeling that energy. And um, that's my favorite part about the message that I get to share with people is peaceful transition of power using these disruptive things that I've curated, um, whether it's energy sector, health sector, or financial or legal, you know, everything. I also have a website, bethebroadcast.com, that I've been putting that all together. And um, like Ruth was and Rory were mentioning about health, you know, collectively, humanity has a parasitic infection on this planet. And it starts with, you know, the enslavement that we're all under with the global monetary policies. I mean, that's really the only way they're able to control this mass amount of people on this planet. So we need these things. This is, um, mm. you know, we, we need this stuff. We need to get rid of the parasites. So, um, you know, like, a massive parasite exorcism of the planet physically and metaphysically um, is what we need. And uh, I think Bitcoin SV is going to be um, taken off like wildfire very soon here. They would not be shorting it by like 80 to 90 percent. Yeah, if it wasn't a threat to their Exactly. Community. You know, somebody's upset. Yeah, it's the most suppressed asset on the planet. I mean, that's right there. I should tell you something huge. Yeah. yeah. Yes. And then I had asked a question of Sertoshi, you know, we saw Shatters at the conference and he was giving the presentation about the uh, scaling test network having at least uh, 100,000 micro actions per second. But on the actual Terra node, they're up to 50,000 transactions per second. So I wonder, Sertoshi, uh, could you tell us, you know, what is the difference between the Bitcoin SV protocol and the Terra node? Ah, oh, good question. Yeah, good timing as well. I've literally just finished posting my show out. So thanks, Rory. Yeah. Um, so all I know is that it's to do with software. So it's effectively it's going to be a, a hard fork. A hard fork is not a chain split. And I know kind of like when some when people say fork, it sounds like a fork is like a, a pitchfork, like it's split. Um, it's not. It's just literally a software upgrade. It's a it's a chain. So it doesn't change the protocol. It doesn't change how Bitcoin operates. It doesn't change anything. It just simply allows for scale. That is it. 
But if the other miners, wow. as in these shitcoin enterprises, uh, want to jump on board with Terranode, because they're going to see all these massive trans, they're going to see huge amounts of transactions coming on chain. And when I'm looking at uh, like CoinDance, for example, looking at the um, mining, I can purposely see that I think I looked at the figures earlier today it was something like 42 percent more profitable to mine on uh, Bitcoin, as in like, you know, BSV rather than a core coin. And I'm just like, there's there's no way they would be squeezing all these other shitcoin enterprises off the chain if they didn't know something massive was coming. You know, so then you mm -hmm. look at Terranode like being pushed through. You know, I mean, I'm really excited about Worldline because they're a $3.4 billion company with payment terminals, you know, already in their second phase of testing with Bitcoin. And and, and Bitcoin has already got 50, over 50% of the transactions on the network and it's got over 70% of the block size. You know, it's literally what is coming is going to be undeniable. And and the reason they're squeezing this shit corners off the chain is because they're going to be scrambling over each other to get their hands on Bitcoin. And because they can't get their hands on it by mining it, the only other way they're going to get be able to get their hands on it is by dumping their shit coins in exchange for Bitcoin. And if you think about it, miners are the biggest bag holders. So basically, you know, Craig uh, and, uh, you know, Calvin and all that, they're, they're, they're purposely starving them of Bitcoin. You know, and this this software upgrade, when that comes through, literally these miners are going to be racing to sort of say, like, what do we need to do? How do we get on this? How can we how can we add hash rate to this? You know, um, so, yeah, that, that's all it is. It's just simply a a software, uh, what, a, a change in the software, but it's not mm -hmm. um, it's not a pro it's not a protocol change. That That's, that's OK. The best thank way you. To describe it. And to what the point River made earlier about keep your eye on the prize, you know, keep your eye on the donut and not upon the hole and let's play up our strengths. An upgrade to an existing system is actually quite innovative. I did make it to the library the other day and I got this book um, out of their minds and it's about the lives and discoveries of 15 great computer scientists. And this led me to discover the story of the IBM 360 system. And in IBM's history, there were all of these high powered computers that could not upgrade. If they wanted to have more space or scale, they would need to then write a completely new software. So billions and billions of dollars, I think it was up to like some astronomical figure of like, you know, $500 billion was spent just to bring to the market the IBM 360 system. So that happened in the 80s. You could see it featured on the Mad Men TV show. And here we're talking about something so simply that, oh, yes, well, we have upgraded to the Terra node and it's capable of, you know, this massive scale. And this is a huge win. This is a great selling point. And because of all of those, um, you know, uh, what do they call them? Social engineering trolls, the distractors, you know, it can keep you off Some point. Topics. Yes, exactly. They're there to keep people off point. And really, let's keep our eyes on the prize. And like baseball, it's all about momentum. Absolutely. Well no? said. Well said. Can I interject there? Am I my mum used to work on those big computer systems like you're talking about, Rory. She used Whoa. to work for, well, my dad worked for IBM. My mum worked for ICL, which is the like the, the British version of IBM. Oh, my and, God. And um, she used to build supercomputers, uh, Essex and Goldrush. It's just a shout out to my mum because she's, she's passed away now. Um, and like you say, they, these enormous room-sized computers, they'd be developed, they'd be online for a few years, and then they'd be trashed, you know? Um, and it was really that she was constantly working on parallelization and getting parallel processing happening. And like you say, you had to have these multi-threaded operating systems, which, you know, normal desktop PCs didn't have at the time, but these supercomputers did. And that, I think, wow. is what Terranode does. Am I right, Satoshi? It's basically parallelizes, I can't say that word, um, <laughs> the ability to process transactions. Is that right? Well, someone, someone's actually said a really good comment in the troll box, BB. Shout out to BB. It says, Terra Node is not a hard fork. It's just different node software. Each activity yeah. that currently uh, Bitcoin SV node is doing can be split into different agents, which are, let's say, microservices that perform work f for the Terra Node. But, you know, that's just the techie stuff. Cool. Karen. <laughs> yeah. yeah. 
yeah, just I'm, I'm, my, more uh, throughput. My, my my excuse is I I say I'm I'm a fundamentals guy. You know, I leave the tech stuff to the techies. You know, because uh, no nobody nobody's talking about the the fundamentals of Bitcoin because that's that's literally the closing um, argument of anything. I realized that when I got into Bitcoin, I am um, in terms of like who I am as a person, uh, it, particularly with investing, I would say that I'm exceptionally defensive because I was just like, look, how can I how can I ensure that my 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 money is safe? Like, how can I? Uh, be sure that this investment is going to be a wise investment. And uh, it was partly knowing that Craig was Asperger's. And Asperger's people don't leave anything to chance because mm. they just can't handle it. So I knew all I had to do was look for something that he had designed that would make it a win-win. A and so when you when you break it down, um, the, own, the biggest risk that, that Craig took with Bitcoin was literally the release of the white paper. That was that was the time he literally because there in order for it to be a commodity, there has to be a point where that central point of authority and control is is relinquished, is is released, where literally anyone and everyone had an equal opportunity to to start Bitcoin for themselves. So when he released the white paper, that was a bit like you know gold being in the ground, just waiting to be discovered. So but because he released the white paper, he was the one that had to uh, provide a reasonable amount of time for anyone and everyone to start the network themselves. And it's not like he mailed the uh, the white paper to his local supermarket. You know, he, he mailed it to a, a cryptographic mailing list with a group of extremely competent individuals who would have understood exactly what they were looking at that could have started the network anytime they wanted themselves. So in law, a reasonable amount of time is considered like two months. Uh, and so he left it two months and four days. And if every time I look back at the process, I realized that the date that he was aiming for was the 1st of January, 2020, because obviously Asperger's people like, like, like dates and like, you know, they like things to be in order. So, you know, start of the start of the new uh, decade, mm. which was uh, you know, tw the 1st of January, 2021, which is when the keys to the Tulip Trust were returned to him. And that marked the, the second phase of Bitcoin, which was the adding value which is adding credibility, which is sort of proving himself, saying, look, I am Satoshi Nakamoto. I created this, you know, and then like now we can start building on it because I can I can I can prove who I am. And the reason he can prove who he is now is because the fund of Bitcoin gets its fundamental value from the neutral growth of its network. So if any network wanted to compete with Bitcoin, they would have to grow organically without any central point of authority control or influence for a period of 10 years now what are the chances of starting a project now particularly in the you know in the blockchain space or um distributed ledger technology space you know and people not finding out who started it it's literally nigh on impossible and that that's where bitcoin gets its fundamental value because uh, nothing else can be a, a money um, if it has a central point of authority or control, and that's, yeah, so what, that's, that's why... what's called that centralized starting authority. Uh, hold on, Toshi, because I, I, I want to throw that talk to you. And a great comment there, Toshi. Thank you. Right. I want to come back to this point. Everyone's take on the space. I want to throw the talking stick over to Eva for a moment. Tell us your thoughts on the BSB space. Uh, space. What is lacking? What's great about it? You know, your your imp your position. You know? Um. I think right now what's happening is that there is a huge fight, you know, of what is the technology or which is the technology that is going to survive and which are the ones that are going to um, just to die, you know, and this is reflected in the markets and this is reflected in the aggressiveness of of, um, of the space, you know, that you, have, you were all talking about, you know. So, of course, the type of aggressiveness has changed over time. Before, because there were fewer people, it was more like infighting and insulting and, you know, kind of saying, I'm going to, you know, uh, go to your house and hit you or whatever, you know. And now it's a different kind of aggressiveness, but it's the same. I think it just reflects um, all the amount of money, not only the current money that is in place, but the money that everybody is expecting to get out in the future. Um, and I think that's irrelevant from the point of view that um, the winning technology is the one who is going to prove itself superior, like you say, through a natural growth. And of course, I, 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 we all know which is this one. So... So that's it, you know. Um, so basically, this is what I feel is, is happening. And what I feel is happening is inside of VSV is just proving 
each one of the points of the protocol. So now we are proving, you know, the block size and um, and so on. You know, everything is being proven right now after many years of development because the, you know, this uh, one thing was the protocol which was written in a very high level, and then the other thing is just go step by step and 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 um, and make it function. You know, so basically this is uh, what I feel. What I feel is that everybody who is involved, whether it is in end chain or the many businesses, you know, that are trying to start up their own applications and, and programs and so on, all of them are working to make the protocol true, you know, to um, to show that everything that has been, let's say, predict, predicted, uh, is happening, and, and this is how I feel the space is consolidating itself, the BSV space. That's an interesting point, consolidating itself. I mean, River, you've seen things a lot from your perspective, the people you've worked with. What's your take on that? On the space, you mean? Yeah, yeah, people's yeah. input, yeah, your insight, how you think, you know, deficits, yeah, good points, I mean, you know, how we can learn from these things. There's so much being built right now that, I mean, not a lot of people know about. And I, I think that the space is innovating so quickly. And the thing is that we've got to remember is, is that we, we you know, are there are a lot of, I think for the first couple of years in the BSV space, a lot of people, you know, tried to replicate what we already have. It seems like the natural process of progression is that we try to replicate what already exists and we put it on the blockchain and we think that people are going to use it because it's on the blockchain, which is not really the, the, the case. Um, and what we're starting to see finally, which is really getting really exciting, is that people are actually starting to, to create new things that didn't exist before. Um, and it's just going to continue like that. And I think that people are starting to finally understand that, you know, we can create anything. Like anything is literally possible, you know, especially now we're going to Terra Nova, we're going, we're, we're, there is the sky is the absolute limit. All we have to do is dream, all we have to do is imagine. We have to have that creative sensibility. We have to have all of that ready and we can we can pursue anything essentially i mean that's what bsv does it technology wise it, it opens up the gate the floodgates for so much opportunity for growth for 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 development so it's exciting to see behind the scenes you know these new ideas you know things that we never really thought were possible that that, that are starting to be developed and um i think that that will only just continue that will just you know we'll start to see things that we would have thought were crazy or that we would never would have even imagined what like something like blair cost yeah, <laughs> yeah like that like blair, yeah. sorry sorry <laughs> exactly micah you're still waiting for it aren't you when can i create a profile <laughs> i'm waiting i've got a new album out i've had three albums by the time you've finished well it's going out but i also want to promote it here in, in the german-speaking countries and uh We'll do some. Uh, I will run several workshops in the second half of this year, <clears throat> and I would love to present it also there. So, so you've been working on pro can it, uh, you've been working on projects, yeah? I'm working on many, many projects. Is there currently. anything you can tell us about? A little exclusive. Hmm. Mm -hmm. Which? Let me think about it. Let, let, yeah. uh, <laughs> no let someone else speak in the meantime. <laughs> Well, we're going to do um, a series of interviews on the women of BSV. And also, I think um, Casey is going to do a series of interviews on Beaver Broadcast as well. So maybe maybe you should wait and let us have an exclusive so that we can put out there to everybody <laughs> instead of Shem stealing the show from us. <laughs> we're also going to do folks. some, I don't know if I mentioned, but we're also hopefully going to do um, some tutorial videos to help people to actually mm. be able to start using some of the apps because it's all very well to say, you know, if you're a developer and if you're quite tech savvy, then you understand how it all works. But if you're a bit tech shy, then, you know, I think simple little explainer and how-to videos and, and education videos are a good way forward as well. So, I mean, that's my take on it. I think Ruth mentioned that earlier. No, yeah, think, yeah, I think, yeah, I think so. And you make such great explainer videos, did he? Thanks. <laughs> no, no, thank you for the encouragement because it's nice to hear that yeah. they actually work and people no, understand them. Because also, once you understand the technology, you're wondering whether or not you're explaining it coherently enough and just in the in the right kind of one, two, three steps for everybody else to understand it as well. And that's what I want to do is make it in as layman terms as possible without all the, the big tech speak. So, you know, just 
non-tech people can can understand and start using things especially say in in like hand cash and relay x where you've got the um you know the connect apps and the apps within there as well if you just learn how to buy some bsv have a wallet and use the apps in in the wallet to start off with then you you're a really good way into the ecosystem already yeah Yeah. well and that's what i say too is that this whole ecosystem can keep us from going back to like digital dark ages mm. if some of these legacy platforms start to fall. And um, I noticed from a marketing standpoint, you know, uh, it's really hard to do this education. There's so much education that goes into, um, you know, getting someone <clears throat> up to speed with what's happening and how they can monetize their content. So the golf balls, you know, pretty far from the hole. So I um, just from like, speaking on Clubhouse and quite a few times getting kicked off and, and gone off on for bringing up BSB, but um, it's the highlight of my days. And um, I, I found out that uh, people really need their hand to be held in a lot of ways. So I started like putting together a, like kind of a white glove onboarding offer, which anyone can do where if you are on these platforms, you can just offer to help people um, I actually do um, remote, what is it, Team Viewer, where you remote into someone's computer and click by click, I help them set up their Twitch, their Relica, their Streamanity, their um, uh, Bright View, like any of the, you know, things out of the meta store that you can cherry pick that they're interested in. And I um, get all their accounts set up, teach them how to use them, and um, then we create a link tree. And with that link tree, you can go to your network and invite them using even something cool like Omniscape to do a virtual marketing campaign to your whole network and gamify that invite to have them meet you on the blockchain. And then you have secured your entire network from the legacy platform and you're now earning multiple streams of Bitcoin coming in versus just USD from the other platform. So um, it can be very advantageous for someone that markets online, whether it's um, you know, just blogging or even affiliate marketing um, with Tonic Pow and stuff like that. But um, really streamlining that onboarding, the ulterior motive that I have there is to help push mass adoption. I want to see mm. the mm. people that are in power lose it, <laughs> lose that power. That's that's uh, why I was trying to make it like, how do I expedite not only their onboarding, but actually then like using them and off to the races with the fastest horse in the race. And you can instantly monetize. You don't have to have the 4,000 watch hours or a thousand subscribers. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. Uh, and a lot of people that I'm working with or targeting are very loud marketers that have huge reach and also um, a lot of truth tellers that have been censored. And, you know, just uh, the information war that we're under is unacceptable. And this is definitely a way to take our power back with getting our message out there in an uninhibited way where you aren't demonetized for saying the wrong thing. Brilliant. Brilliant, Casey. Absolutely brilliant. And yeah, so- yeah, I'll, uh, I'll just add. How, how do we wait, wait, it? hold on, Toshi. Uh, Michael is just about to go in. It's ladies' night tonight, Toshi. <laughs> oh, sorry, Toshi. <laughs> So, you know, I think mass market is very, very soon coming because uh, besides Smart Ledger, we'll also provide a special API that provides the ability to invoice in fiat. So the background system is running on BSV, but you can charge anything on, um, on like 180 different fiats. So this will enable a lot, like so many... Um, BSV companies are already very interested in this uh, API. It, it's coming soon, soon, and all eyes on smart ledger solutions. And there will be many more projects coming up. Uh, what else could I say? Um, yeah, the lunch, official lunch, will be made maybe in a couple of weeks. So, but there will be more women and BSV uh, meetups so that I can tell more details stuff Ooh, then exciting. yeah Very. But that's awesome i think it's a, a huge part of it is getting people to be able to interact with bsv apps without necessarily using bsv to do it and there are a lot of people for whom they they want the functionality that the bsv apps offer but they don't necessarily want to buy into the whole crypto space just yet and we don't want to block those people out you know we want to welcome them in 
I okay. see. And how about the currency on Bitcoin? That's something we heard at the London conference mm. was for currencies such as the US dollar or even the Chinese renminbi to be built on uh, the Bitcoin SV protocol. So what do you all think of that? I think it's a no brainer. Myself, but. Can, I, can I just quickly say something contextual and then I'd love everyone's opinion on it. So mm -hmm. I was I was blown away by that because a lot of us, if we look at hand cash, their model is obviously with the dual row that BSV is is the base base currency. Right. But also we was introduced to the concept of currencies, yen, dollar being on BSV. Again, two amazing philosophies. What's your thoughts, ladies? It's a big market out there it's, for it's going currencies. To yeah. yeah. Sorry, Dee. Go ahead. No, no, no. Exactly. I mean, it's a big market out there. There's a lot of currencies, and they can all run on top of BSV as tokens. Um, you know, I mean, that's a huge, huge eco, uh, eco, you know, structure that we're going to be building. Um, to be fair, I just um, don't think governments are going to be able to do it unless they use BSV. No. I think they're going to fail. I think they're going to try really hard and yeah. fail horribly. And eventually find their way to bsv so i think we're going to watch a lot of failures happen it's going to be quite entertaining i think i think that's one of the sense, yeah, one of one good. of the things i found is that um i think there's a lot of resistance for people that believed in btc to actually you know they know that actually now bsv is the original protocol and it is the one with all the power and and the big blocks and it can do what it says in the white paper and i think there's a lot of resistance for the btcs to actually admit that to themselves mm. um you know but yeah what can what what the what the actual blockchain for bsv can do is just phenomenal to be fair you know so it's not going to matter who denies it in the end it's just not going to matter they can think whatever they want to think and have whatever conversations that they want to have and yell and shout at Nassim Taleb and all the rest of it, but it's not going to matter uh, well, because, to you know, it, sp it speaks for itself. Yeah. Like River said, you know, at, at the end of the day, it's either going to work or it's not. And if BSV, if it works on BSV and pretty much nothing else, I imagine, uh, then that, you know, job done. It, nothing more needs to be said, frankly. Well, I'll tell you, the first time that I talked to um, Kurt Walkert Jr. over at CoinGeek, uh, I was very excited to hear from the horse's mouth, someone that is under NDA with Dr. Craig Wright, that, you know, um, he is a forensics, Craig Wright is a forensics financial auditor. Like, I don't know the exact titles of his PhD, but I mean, the blockchain is the absolute worst thing to use for a criminal transaction. And when Kurt was explaining to me um, that they have direct connections, you know, transaction proof of this coming from very, um, you know, bad people going to some of the developers over at uh, BTC as an activist that wants to see a lot of that stuff stopped on the planet. I was very excited. That was one of the biggest mm -hmm. reasons why I wanted to run forward sharing this technology and um, just looking forward to hopefully a lot of the people that are being so mean about um you know the propaganda in this space the disinformation that's being shared um will actually be indicted <laughs> you know and we'll get to watch that too i would i would love to see that just mm. throwing that out yeah. <laughs> yeah satoshi keeps us updated on his show <laughs> yeah for sure bags of bitcoin right <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> Truth yeah, and light. Out of that one. B BSV is truth and light. And um, I, I, I really want... What, what about feedback for the space? What can we as a space, an ecosystem, a society be doing better? What are we missing? What, what, are, the, what are the people out there missing? You, you folks have got an incredible perspective and a way of looking at things that I think is, is just very... We need it right now. Yeah. And... It's still quite... oh. I think well, I'll, still... I'll just I'll just jump in there quickly. I know I'm not a girl, but I just got to jump in there quickly. <laughs> uh, what what I would say, I mean, one of the reasons I um, I started all these uh, social groups on Twitter and con and connecting people is because I want I want people to come out and and tell their stories. Because if you tell your story, somebody not everybody, but someone will be able to relate to it. And because we've all got different stories, you'll be attracting you know similar people to yourself that can identify with your story. 
to follow you and then they'll be listening to your explanations of what you and what you found out and sort of like following your journey and um, and that's kind of like how you get people involved it is personal relationships and i saw i've just linked in um the chat box here to, on the on youtube the interview that um casey, casey did with um uh, sylvian coutier and her background story i don't know if you guys have watched it but it absolutely blew me away i thought that was absolutely amazing so it's just and i bet i bet what well, i mean i've sort of like promoted it. i told people to watch it but I bet, I bet not many other people did, but that's why we're going to have to get together and have uh, Bitcoin biscuits and coffee, Miss Casey. You know, great story. Well, I was, I was going to quickly suggest, uh, hopefully next year, uh, if we're able to, how does everyone fancy the idea we all meet up in Antigua um, and do a week BSV <laughs> festival and Jolly, Jolly Harbour on? Calvin Air's oh, beach. Yeah. Sounds all good to me. But but go, come back to the topic, folks. I, I I want your feedback. How, what do we need to be doing better? How can we get them this mass adoption? You know, uh, uh, Micah, I I'd like you to take the talking stick and then throw it out after. Well, the API will help definitely to to uh, include the mass market, but. Um, I mean, it takes time. It, it, it takes time and patience. Uh, I think that might be missing in some uh, ways. Uh, always, we have to remember how, how long did it take that uh, the internet actually took the mass market. I mean, beginning of 2000 and then 2009 or 2010, then more and more people got into the internet and uh, using, using everything. Using the, really that the platforms that are that were created, so um, patience, and, and we cannot skip it in some ways. I know uh, the de development of the digitalization and um, it, it, it's uh, always going uh, like faster. Uh, the development is coming going faster. But uh, in some ways, we still have to remind ourselves that it takes time. But I think in, in general, we can say we have such a wonderful, supportive community and uh, the people that are in it, they know that it's, it's the best technology in the space. And uh, we don't have to like uh, doubt on, on the technology side. Uh, and we simply have to create the things that are it's that much attractive to the mass population that they cannot resist jumping into it. And that's what we do. River? There is, I just want to add to, to that as well, because there is a, such a process for everything, right? You, you, mm -hmm. you kind of, you know, we've been in, we've been through the whole process of BTC to BCH to BSV, and mm -hmm. it, it all just feels like it's kind of taking a really long time, right? But there is a natural process for everything. and and. You know, we can't just expect the world to change their minds overnight and for, you know, a big government agency to adopt it as their official currency or, you know, all these things, they do naturally take time. And while we still have a lot of things in development, you know, still a whole heap of things that haven't even been announced yet that are that are that are being built and, you know, a lot of infrastructure things as well that actually make it easier for developers because it's not easy right now to develop an app on BSV. So it's not easy, like plain and simple. It's so much more easier. It's so much easier to, you know, build a normal Android or, a, or an Apple app. Like it, building an app on BSV is simply not easy right now. Mm -hmm. So a lot of tools need to come. A lot of things need to, you know, there is a divine timing for everything. And I think that eventually we'll, we'll get to a space where, where where it's it's all kind of booming and we're going to look back and think you know that that it happened overnight but you know there, we're, we're in that, like that, that kind of you know deep end of it right now while everything's still very much getting developed and um yeah i definitely agree that you know we definitely need to be on that patient route and, and understand and having full faith and understanding that you know we will get there eventually and we will but we have to believe that we will and we have to keep building and it's kind of like a time of you know heads down thumbs up and just keep working keep building we'll get there eventually phenomenal well, anyone from else from a market standpoint for anyone that is looking to capitalize on the you know streams of income you can generate for yourself getting in now is 
not a time to be patient and just walk. Then <laughs> 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 and start earning these micro payments, keeping in mind that it might be, I don't even know what the last time I looked at coin market cap, it was like $146 yesterday. You're earning these micro payments of Bitcoin at that price. So if, you know, I think I've, let's just say if I have 40 bucks on my Twitch account or whatever, that's, if I never touch that again, for the foreseeable future, that $40 is gonna turn into hundreds of thousands potentially if the price of BSV goes to millions per coin over the next you know, 10, 20 years, whatever. So I'm, uh, I'm definitely trying to highlight that it is accumulation time and um, not sitting on the sidelines time if you are trying mm -hmm. to take any content and capitalize off marketing that and you know getting into these platforms like Slictionary and stuff where you can just be adding a word a day or a word a week and you can earn a long-term passive residual evergreen income stream from that with no customer management. You can even pass that on to your children. Like it's insane the opportunities for actually, um, you know, generating like a stable financial future for yourself using these platforms. So don't that's be patient. Right. That's what when, you want to do. When you think about tokenization <laughs> and and you can basically create revenue generating uh, objects, I'm not quite sure what I'm going for here. Um, I, I want to say business, but they're not quite a business, but they're almost a business. They're things that you can then pass on to your own kids or just receive income in perpetuity. I mean, that's a powerful concept, you know, and, and we can uh, invent things that don't exist currently come up with you know really creative ways to generate income and so for, i think for women especially who have generally speaking got a lot on in our lives you know we've got kids and all sorts of things to manage the idea of being able to set set and forget something is extremely powerful and so for from that perspective i think that these uh things that are coming in bsv are going to be possibly even more powerful for your average woman than they are for your average man at, at the end of the day um because we you know women traditionally do like to have their small businesses and we're gonna you know keep hopefully enabling women to have and run small businesses and effectively stand on their own two feet as well these are really important issues and as Dr. Wright says, you're going to destroy Twitter. <laughs> yeah. And, and watch out. Funny. And I'll I enjoy that. Real quick, I am a single mom and I've used this yeah. to completely change my life. I usually charge like 297 USD for a link tree setup or half of that if people pay me in BSV. But I do offer to do this for single moms for free. Um, and just throwing that out there, if there are any single moms that would like um, to get ahead using the blockchain, I'm um, totally available to help you out and streamline your, um, you know, abilities here at, at creating an income for yourself using these platforms. I think Casey's going to take over the world, you know. <laughs> yes, really and how do they contact like you, Casey? How do they find you for that? So, um, be the broadcast.com is, has a, a contact thing on there that has all my, um, things for scheduling an appointment with me. Uh, there's a thing to schedule for a monetized link tree setup that if you click on that one, it will try to charge you to 297, but you can click on the one for just a consultation with me and we'll, um, we'll go from there, but it free of charge. So. Great. Powerful stuff. Just shared that out there. Um, tell me, tell me more about insight. I mean, it, it, it's, it's so wonderful listening to different viewpoints. I'm thinking about coin geek 2020 when I met you folks, I'm thinking about hopefully in 2022, <laughs> there'd be the BSV Antigua festival where we'd be chinking pina coladas on the beach and doing business at night. Um, um, you know, because there's such a vibrant night, nightlife on Antigua, right. And, um, you know the beautiful sunsets all that kind of stuff and you know it's been a tough year tough two years for people mm -hmm. you know whatever country you into it's been a tough two years but there's a resonant theme a thread that's running through this conversation tonight there's been a an empowerment through technology uh, Casey you're saying about uh, monetizing it and it reminds me 
um, that, that are we at a stage where people are starting to work in Bitcoin now full time? That the first they earn a bit of money, they get a bit of small change, and then they build a project. They might do it full time, or they work on several projects, and that's the. And and I find that very exciting. I I, you know, I don't yes. know what what's people's thoughts on that. Well, in that case, I had left my my job and I went to London to try to find a job. So when I got there, they weren't looking to hire anyone. None of the companies were really looking to hire. So that was a good growth experience for me to still get involved and keep learning and growing. And then now I am moving more into these chats that we have, networking, working with different teams and working into even uh, careers and business building now in the space. So I think that, yeah, what you're saying is, is uh, kind of exciting that uh, we really do have our proof of work. So we go in, we take a risk and we show up and we meet each other and then we continue. And to River's point about that resilience and the mindset, so that is very important because we do receive a lot of, uh, you know, the pushback from the different social engineering uh, sock puppets on the internet, or even just in general to do anything, you've got to push, like the flower pushing out of the ground, you know, there's all of that soil on top. So if you want to do anything, you've got to have that inertia to push through. So by interacting more with each other, uh, doing that self-awareness, personal growth, uh, learning how to uh, rile yourself up <laughs> and to be gentle with yourself and others. This is also key to our long-term success. And then to uh, acknowledge your wins, acknowledge all of your wonderful points, uh, because we do have many. And then I think the other aspect is that uh, the, that humility to know that there's always more to learn. So we have the aspect of, oh, I can purchase Bitcoin and that has a value that is traded. And yes, there's all of the, you know, hullabaloo there that is distracting people, but we are the one that is, has utility. So therefore in the long run, we will be profitable and having gotten an early, we'll have that value. So there's that aspect, but then there's also the aspect of making a transaction and using it as money. And then there's the aspect of, all of the data in the world going on the platform and then ushering in the information age. So there's just so much to mm -hmm. it and it's super exciting. And, you know, you're never going to know it all. So NFTs, you know, hypey, hypey, hype. I love art. I love art so much. I like Diddy's art on Streamanity. I watch her sometimes doing the art there. Uh, but I don't know everything about it. I just watched Ready Player One like last week. I still have a lot to learn, but that doesn't mean that I still can't contribute. So don't wait till you're perfect and just keep mm -hmm. going and cheer yourself on. Yeah. <laughs> I know there's some, there are some amazing artists in this space as well. I mean, Satoshi Doodles, um, for one, mm. and there's Art on Chain I know about, but That's Satoshi brilliant. Doodles, I think she's phenomenal, to be honest yeah. with you. And I, you know, there's a call out to any women that want to come on and do oh, some yeah. interviews with us. Um, mm -hmm. You can email us at you know, women of BSV at gmail.com, or we're going to start reaching out to you to see whether or not you want to be able, you know, you want to come on and do an interview and tell us who you are, what you're doing, how you got into the space. And, you know, we'll help in that respect as well, put you out under this umbrella of women of BSV. So feel free to get in touch. <laughs> yeah, what I would say is just have some fun, like be aware of, if you think, oh, you know what, that might be a good idea. When you have that idea, that's a moment of inspiration that has come to you because you think it's a good idea. And then what normally happens is people sort of like, then they look into it and then they get a little bit disheartened and then they sort of lose confidence in themselves. Just do it. Literally, you've got nothing to lose. And by doing something, you're projecting energy out there and energy just simply attracts more energy. So even True. if you do it and you do it badly, other people will be looking at you going, huh, that was really bad. I could probably do better. Right? <laughs> <laughs> exactly. you're, gonna, you're gonna be inspiring them even if you're really crap and then if you're, oh, maybe, maybe. If you're so inspiring them if you're crap too, who cares? Yeah. Yeah. Less of a swearing. so true you're worse than you making so much more money than you 
right now. <laughs> Definitely. <laughs> Yeah, and if, uh, if if by by encouraging, or even if you just sort of like, if you even if you're not sure what you're doing, even by just simply just talking, even if you're like hashing it out because you you don't understand something, somebody else will probably be listening and then you're learning along the way. In. Mm -hmm. You know, like like we were just, yeah. like we were just talking about the uh, the Terranode upgrade there, and yeah. somebody chirped in on the chat. Oh, it's actually this. Yeah, that that's literally all you need. Everybody mm. just working together because yeah. BSV is all about adding value. And this is this is one of the things why I, I love what Craig has designed so much because whereas in the fiat currency world you're just simply trying to grab as much as you can because it's it's constantly going down in value the more and more they print. Whereas mm. with Bitcoin, it's all about adding value, mm. you know, because the, because the supply is fixed. So if the supply is fixed, you know, you may as well contribute something that's good to make the value go up. And that's why you have to get everybody involved. You know, it's just it's just a great system. I mean, so I literally encourage everyone. I'm just like, look, if you want if you want me to show you how to set up an OBS studio, if you want me to come mm. on as a guest on your show, you know, just anything, any ideas. Mm. We're you trying know, to get the word it. out. We're trying to grow this movement. I remember yeah. Toshi us speaking in 2019 in the early days of this channel and other stuff. <laughs> and and it, it's it felt like a war effort, and it still feels like a war effort. Uh, it, I, I want to actually throw the talking stick to Eva. Uh, what's your thoughts on some of the comments that that River and Rory and, and uh, Casey and 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 um, uh, Diddy s said about the, the space BSV in crypto and your and your journey, one or, or one's own journey in BSV. Got any comments on that? Um, well, I, I totally agree with them. I think, um, you know, people who are alike and think alike uh, come together in this space. And I find, uh, you know, that we are um, a group that is resilient, that uh, is focused, that um, is generous, you know, because like people are teaching each other, you know, they don't keep the knowledge for themselves. And, you know, even here we, ha we see Casey with these examples, you know, how she so generously um, gives a very important part of her time uh, for free just to help other people get into the space, you know. So I think this is kind of a characteristic of our system. And it is because of what it does, because we can see other systems, parallel systems that are totally uh, the opposite, you know. Um, so I think all of these characteristics in which we agree um, result in in this organic growth, and we are all supporting and generous um, of this growth. You know, so I think I, we more or less see it uh, the same way, and we have experienced it the same way. I found many generous people who wanted to share, not to let's say take over or or you know rob you, <laughs> but basically to share, put together resources and and um, effort. And, um, and and this is in my experience so far. I'm extremely happy because it's not so easy to find anything like that, uh, particularly, for example, not in the business community, which is where I have grown, and not in the uh, academic community, which is also where I have grown, you know. People are extremely, extremely um, selfish <laughs> of their, you know, thoughts or discoveries or, and it, the result of that is that these communities don't grow. They are not um optimal in anything in the way they work or in what they achieve you know they are basically mediocre so it's mediocrity that which defines our businesses and our um academic communities and that's because you know the goal is not let's say to grow and to do the best and and to you know put out there um the best theories with the best teams so i am very happy here <laughs> i don't want to move <laughs> I think this is a great, a great space. Yes. I'm loving the, I'm loving your plants, by the way. I know. I'm just <laughs> looking at give us thing. a, give us a tour of the garden. <laughs> Tell Beautiful. It. I mean, <laughs> BSV we garden. Are. Yes, Beautiful. we are acting like a wonderful ecosystem. That's why I'm showing actually a garden. I mean, look, we are all beautiful flowers and we are, we couldn't survive in a singular way, you know? We are all in this together, in this space. So we are creating a lot and one flower alone cannot survive. 
T tell us more about that. Um, yes. Ladies, anyone want to jump in that ecosystem? What you think of the BO BSV ecosystem is very uh, small at the moment. We're looking for global adoption. It's business focused. You know, we don't want crummy neck beards. Anyone got any comments on <laughs> the, the future of where we're going? I, I have a comment. I, I think you cannot grow um, and you cannot focus uh, when you have 2,000 million people, you know, taking a go at things because there has to be an order and you cannot learn from whatever is out there if everybody is doing something out there so nothing is going let's say to flourish or to or to be um i don't know to to excel you know so i think things are as they should be uh, to grow which is that uh, you know the mass is learning first of all not particularly about bsd but about but about the new technology, you know, this, uh, let's say, revolution overall. And in time, they will learn about BSD because as we all uh, think, it's going to be um, the the most uh, adopted technology. You know, this, this is for sure, you know. But I think um, things don't grow out of the mass. They grow out of groups that develop things. And then the mass adopts these ideas and adopts uh, these technologies when they are ready to be adopted. Uh, somebody also here mentioned how you know complicated, how complex it is to use these technologies when you are not a person from, from the technological sector. And you are particularly when you are not uh, a person from the new, new generations. So I think uh, we are just in the right uh, route and we are doing um, what we can do right now. Uh, not doing, doing more is not going to get us there faster. You know, this is, um, this is my point. So this is anyway what I just wanted to, to share. Work smarter, not harder. That's right. It's, it's, uh, it's, it's yeah. a kind of we kind of have to get into that space now where we 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 can't exhaust too much energy right away because it's just we can't force the technology on people. There is a natural process of things, and exactly mm -hmm. as Eva said, you know, we've got to kind of be really really smart right now to 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 be able to maintain the energy that we need for the long run. You know, we're 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 not in it for this you know kind of short sprint. It's very much a marathon. It's very much a long journey ahead of us. Um, but just the opportunity of being here kind of in the beginning, as, as Casey was saying before as well, you know, we're, 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 we're so much further ahead than, than we even think, than we could even imagine, honestly. What I would say in terms of uh, energy, <clears throat> I've just done a show um, on an article that um, these BTCs did about, uh, well, wrote about Calvin Air rebranding. Honestly, it's the propaganda is hilarious. Honestly, you, you've got you've got to read it to believe it. So what what I think is like like just don't waste your time on on people that bring negative energy in into your life. Just yeah. literally focus on those who are positive, because your mm -hmm. energy is then multiplied through those people much more. Which is I know or I know River was saying, oh yeah, Toshi, you block everybody. Well, it's just like I literally haven't got time for some people. Like block, 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 block. It's all right, River. Yeah, he's blocked me. There. <laughs> <laughs> I, I, only had, I, I had to unblock Mika just recently because I blocked him. <laughs> she was a she was an I... XRP Sergeant Major General infiltrating Bitcoin. I was just like, but don't worry, do we've one. got her back. <laughs> can you, Mika, yeah, Mika, you can tell can us it... your story. Well, how did you? Uh, how I, I, I want to know about Coin Geek. I want to know about what she knows yeah. about Coin Geek. Well, the vibe. Actually... The vibe of the Coingate conference. Yeah, what Amazing. happened? Amazing. I mean, last year in London, it was, uh, I mean, we could have a huge <laughs> party and this wasn't uh, possible this time. But still, like, you know, we all felt like the lucky people who could be there in person, mm -hmm. you know, and, and millions of people are watching at home uh, at the computers. And it's like a... It's not a, like a usual conference. Like it's a show, and we, everybody you can you can learn so much about the space in, in three days. Like a compressed knowledge, and you kind of like uh, exhausted. You cannot you can have like maybe three to four hours sleep within these days because you mm -hmm. want to use this time and to connect to all the people that are there so i highly recommend to everyone to go to uh, to the next coin or to any coin conference in the upcoming years and the next one is in new york and i will definitely be there and uh, will 
we will enjoy celebrating with you all and connecting with you all. It's such an amazing experience. If, if you are into blockchain or even not. So it's, it's really worth to join this place. It's, it's amazing. To think about the way that this technology is like going to liberate humanity collectively. I was so proud of all of you guys watching from home. I was like, I felt like I really like, you know, it's just family that we've created here and watching you all on stage and Kurt and Jimmy and everybody. I was just so proud of everyone. And uh, I definitely had the opportunity to go, but the whole COVID restrictions, I was like, I'm just going to wait for the next one. So I look forward to actually meeting you all in, in New York for sure. It's, it's going to be really fun. I hope I can get to New York. I don't know whether we're, I will be able to, but I'd like to. I have know, I would like to too. Let's see yeah. how it all goes. <laughs> God knows at the minute. I but. can't even renew my passport right now. Like I can't, I, I literally cannot renew my passport. I don't know what I'm going to do. Oh my Stuck gosh, because you're in Brazil, right? I'm in Brazil and I can't, wow. they've, they've closed the embassy. You'll have to get wow. your claim of life. It works well, in place of a passport. It's called yeah. claim of life. Oh, okay. Sea That's world in Let's the UK. Let's chat more about that. <laughs> cool. So, so we've actually got, we're coming up to an hour and a half. So I think we're coming to a, a pretty much the end. But I, there was one more question that I had actually. Um, how is the response from your friends? You know, when, when you when you talk to Bitcoin and stuff, you know, and try to explain BSV, you know, is it is it, you know, when you talk with your girlfriends that kind of thing, is it like like promoting BSV? Is is it a kind of guy thing? Is, is it too guy in Bitcoin and crypto? Can, it, can anyone give a comment on that? Perhaps some feedback? You know, can I just say, I've I've got pretty much all of my friends on Handcash and RelayX and all that kind of stuff. But because all, everyone speaks Portuguese here, like it just, it's not something that they even have the minimal interest in using at this point, you know, getting on Twitch, getting on all these social, it doesn't, it doesn't interest them at all. You yeah. know, none of their friends are on there. You know, I, I, I have all you guys and we have this big community of our own, but it's very much an inner circle right now. Mm. So for anyone who's coming from the outside and who's not from the background of, of this technology, um, you know, I can see that it's it's kind of like the first days of Facebook, right? When it was just the people from the university and then eventually, it, you know, spread out. So we're at that stage right now where it's very much just the university kids hanging all out together. And eventually, mm -hmm. maybe it'll catch on. But you know, I mean, I, I talk about it very, very little these days. But back when I did speak about it, it, it there was a lot of resistance, for sure, from from everyone around. Anyone else yeah, on that? Me, what me too. I know that rebranding. They well, they're I not rebranding. Initially, it's a figure of speech. <laughs> initially, I, know, I, know. Um, I think that a lot of people are are lurking right now. That mm -hmm. maybe that I know from when Satoshi kept talking about, you know, get out and tell your own network. I did start doing that and having live streams and I don't really know who's watching them. It doesn't show you on the Facebook data, uh, but I, I do get the feeling that there is some interest. Maybe people are watching, but when I actually am having a conversation with someone such as my best friend from high school and I said, yes, blah, blah, protocol. And she said, up. Oh, that's it. You lost me. <laughs> yeah, I don't know what a protocol is. That's too much. And I Protocol. Thought, yeah, but, and I just kept talking. I was like, well, you know, and then I thought, well, what am I going to do? Uh, uh, same thing with my family. Uh, you know, I'll hear, don't tell me about it. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> I don't, don't want to hear it. anything about it. Um, you know, or just... Uh, oh, you know, that's pretty much that's it. So oh, cool. <laughs> Bitcoin, right? <laughs> yes. Bitcoin. And then yeah, for the people that it. are engaged in it already, they are just really into the headspace of, um, you know, the whole trading aspect. And yeah. so I've tried to help them there. Uh, it, I'm not getting much response. And then I think the other area is just that, um, that the people have been offered jobs in, you know, for BTC related things. Mm -hmm. And so because they're making a good wage out of it, you know, they don't really care. They're just like, oh, this is neat. 
And I try to tell them, but you know, you can't argue when they're, you know, getting a great salary working someplace. Mm. So I think so far that's been Work, my experience. Working as but... a shill on Twitter. <laughs> <laughs> no, not not really like that at I'm all. Working More, crypto. You know, in a business. <laughs> <laughs> I work crypto. Yeah, you. not like that. But I think um, yeah, you just persevere and you never know who's watching. So when you do reach out, there could be people that are watching, that are interested, that are learning, that are able to grasp that. You know, there could be people that studied economics or have that high level intelligence that Satoshi goes on about. So then they could, you know, really be learning a lot and you'd never know it because you don't get that feedback from the data analytics on Facebook live streams. Yeah, I'll add to that too, because actually with all this NFT craze and, um, you know, because I've kind of planted my seeds every now and again with, with several different groups of friends, I get every now and again, and I think it's happened about four times now from different people, people asking me, oh, NFTs, do you know about NFTs? And so I, I mm -hmm. kind of, you know, yeah, yeah. And actually, you know, I was working with RelayX at the time when I had like four different people asking me. And I was like, yeah, I know about NFTs. And they're like, oh yeah, cool, Ethereum. I'm like, no, wait, but wait, wait a minute. We, mm -hmm. we have like other tools and try to explain. And then they go, oh no, but it's different. I'm like, okay. <laughs> there's so much resistance like this <laughs> I know. you try your best and it's there the, the seeds the seeds are definitely planted but they ain't growing <laughs> well i've got a couple of on clubhouse when i get on there and i'll go into an instagram hack room or something and i'll get on stage and say you know um are you guys aware that there's a blockchain based alternative to instagram that you can start earning multiple streams of or that you can start earning micropayments of Bitcoin um, for your content, the content you're already creating. And I get like a whole bunch of followers, a whole bunch of DMs on that platform. Specifically, it's free organic advertising and people are so hungry for information about how to advertise on the blockchain. They just, uh, like I said, that golf ball is so far from the hole. Uh, the last few months that I've been building this <clears throat> um, platform and this, um, presence online, I've been trying to figure out, I've been taking that market feedback from those people uh, that engage with me and using it to change up my website and get the messaging right because I'm getting a lot of um, information to people and like planting the seed, but they're not, um, they're not watering it to let it grow yet. Um, so I, it's from a marketing like I know my messaging isn't right yet or it hasn't it's still too confusing it's so i'm still trying too to make early it. i think i think that the seeds it's really really good to just be planting those seeds not be too aggressive mm -hmm. as well at this time yeah. because if you're too aggressive it comes off too strong and it kind of turns people yeah. off as well yeah. mm -hmm. yeah. having said that bye they don't know what you know so i'm just trying to like make it really unconfusing mm -hmm. yeah for people to understand what's happening here i think we've like gone gone into a really yeah. important moment in time there, haven't we where there's lots of people who are influencers on social media and they've got lots of followers and they're getting deplatformed at a rate of knots and so we are in a moment we do need to leverage because people really are building huge businesses that then disappear overnight and it's completely out of their control and if we can harness and and grab some of that market share you know that's a heck of a thing uh there's there's, no it's a real having, need yeah there's no harm in having a parallel presence from the like exactly you know, doesn't hurt you yeah great great Thank war you. talk <laughs> i love it <laughs> <laughs> can we just say uh, uh micah's phone's gonna uh, run out of battery soon so i'm gonna pass the talking stick to you micah and say let's have our final thoughts for today um again we'll catch up again i love tonight thank you for coming on and sharing your stories and and your perspective it's been valuable for the space uh micah we we, we always have the tradition on the show of doing a, a final thought a summary of what people should be thinking about in their mind give us your final thought what's your final thought today get into the space use the time it's time to do it now not in two years, then uh, you might be missing out many chances, especially as an entrepreneur. It's the time to go in now, right now. Yeah. <laughs> Thank you. But, by the way, <laughs> lo love the view of the flowers. And, and just to yes, say there was an inspirational war, war comment by <laughs> Ruth. You're showing us a red flower. And I was just like, wow, that's the most... 
um, uh, in inspirational comment, leveraging the space. Let's have some final thoughts and then we'll close the round for today. Casey, give us your final thought and then pass that talking stick on to the next person. Uh, this has been really fun. Thank you so much, Tim, for having us on. Um, yeah, I just am grateful to be networking with all of you. I feel honored to be on the front lines of the war with the people that literally are saving Bitcoin and helping to usher it to all of us. So um, I'm just trying to do my part uh, over here in whatever ways that I can and um, give more than I'm taking and help people understand what's happening so that they can take action and don't get left behind again. You know, it's not too late to be part of the next big thing. I thought that I had missed the boat with BTC being so high and um, to know that I have that opportunity again to invest in this technology. I'm just um, so grateful and uh, really you know, excited. So thanks again. You guys have a great week. Happy Monday. And I'll see you around. <laughs> Love it. Thank you very oh. much. Rory, final thought for yes. today. Inspirational comments. Tell us where you're at, what people should be considering. Yes. Thanks, Shem. Well, thanks again to Diddy and Shem and everyone here today. And I hope we can keep doing this, meeting more and more. It's definitely inspirational the more that we talk together. And for anyone out there that might be watching in internet land <laughs> all around the world, uh, I recommend that you contemplate how microtransactions can impact you and your business. Uh, think about what a microtransaction is. How is that different to anything else? And just start brainstorming and then come to Shem's show, come to Sertoshi's show and look at the great diversity of minds in the space. Uh, you could watch the numpties or you could watch uh, you know, women of BSV, you could watch uh, this show, you could go to coingeek.com. There's just a plethora of minds and individuals that are engaged. Uh, you know, Daniel Krowitz is a superstar. Um, I haven't seen Ryan X Charles for a long time. Wait, is he on vacation or what? Yeah. But uh, yeah, definitely get involved. We're very warm and, um, you know, just keep thinking and brainstorming about microtransactions. Ruth, why don't you give us that final thought? Um, again, thanks for having us on. Um, hopefully we're going to do some fun stuff and, and show a, a slightly different face of BSV. Uh, Non-intimidating face, hopefully. Hopefully a warm, friendly face that just says, come on in, ask dumb questions, you know, and and it's okay to like just want to use this stuff you don't you don't have to be uh necessarily an inventor or a creator or anything it's all right just to want to use it um and um i think we're gonna have a lot of fun actually so but I, it's always fun in bsv it's always fun i mean there's so much there's so much going on and it's changing so rapidly and Every time I turn around, there's a, something new that I have to figure out how to use. And it, there's never a dull moment. And for me, that's like, I just like being fed with information all day because that, that's my thing. Um, it's just like the best place in the world. And we're some of the best people I've ever met. And you can't say fairer than that, can you? Phenomenal. Yeah, I do say when I'm telling people about, you know, you're going to be marketing to some of the smartest people in the world that have already found their way to this ecosystem. So that's that's a big deal. You know, your reach is, is uh, very powerful in this ecosystem. Shout out to Ken D. He just said a, a funny comment. It said it's all kind of like adult Lego. <laughs> 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 nice one, Ken. Eva. Friendly. <laughs> yeah, unless it's like me that odd bit that don't fit uh, Eva give us your final yeah. thought <clears throat> my final thought is uh, to tell people that uh, whether they get in or not this is going to happen so basically it's like internet It internet affected the lives of everybody those who wanted to think of it and those who did not want to think of it uh, blockchain, the BSB blockchain, is going to change the essence of society. I mean, it will have implications for governance, for law, for everything, you know. So I would advise people um, 
to kind of prepare for the future because this is this is going to change you know society is going to change and we will have to live in that future so my final thought my recommendation for anybody is you know start looking at it because uh this is the future where everybody is going to is going to live phenomenal thank you very <laughs> much Everyone, it's been an absolute pleasure. Thank you, Toshi, for coming on. Me and Toshi will probably catch up tomorrow and we'll do a breakfast show or something. Toshi, I'll give you a call in the morning over a coffee. Um, you there, Tosh? Yeah, mate. Yeah, sweet. Do I get a final thought or are we leaving that for tomorrow? Do I get a final thought? <laughs> yes, oh, River, River. River, sorry. Sorry. Morning. Morning. And I don't so know where Diddy went either. Diddy went. <laughs> Diddy's in the troll box. I can see. There she is. Okay. <laughs> sorry, River. Brain not working. Go on. I forgot about me. No, I'm kidding. Um, okay, so final thoughts. Um, I think a lot of us come into BSV imagining that the technology is going to change the world. And I think that a lot of us have this beautiful vision of this future that, you know, where every, everything is kind of peaceful and it's all beautiful and nice and it's a really beautiful vision to have. But what I want to say from, from what I've learned personally in my life is that it's all well and good to have a vision to ch that you want to change the world, but actually... How we go about changing the world is we change ourselves within ourselves and the way that we vibrate and we use our own energy and give that energy to the world, whether we're vibrating on a, on a you know, I see it's really, really common. And I was definitely in that space as well, where we're, we're vibrating off greed and hunger and, mm. and aggression. Mm -hmm. And, you know, we're, we're, we're sitting in that vibration and we're, we're giving that energy out into the world. And, you know, we don't change the world by being these, you know, kind of negative things, you know essentially if we're giving off that thing we're going to bring more of that negativity into the world and so if we can learn to, to 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 use our own energy in such a way that does bring the light and love that we have within ourselves first we're going to be much more better prepared to to actually change the world for the better so um i just wanted to give that message to everyone so that we can go delve within a little bit try and hopefully bring a lot more of that positivity a lot of that better energy out and, and you know, as this technology grows, because we all know that there is a danger with technology like this. So it's such an important thing for all of us who are here at the beginning to have that that positive, good, beautiful energy as we build and we grow up and 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 all the people that we bring in with us will, will come with that energy as well. Wow, that's yeah. phenomenal. Toshi, go and give a final thought on ladies' night. <laughs> Excellent. Yeah, I've been waiting for this. When we were just talking about... Uh... Reaching out earlier. Um, Sorry, when... could I interrupt again? Yeah, go for it. <laughs> okay, I just want to say also, um, you know, that if you mess up, if you ever don't do it right, also be gentle with yourself too That's and realize it's a new moment. So you have another chance. So I know that when I try to do that and I can, you know, focus on that intention and, you know, what I'm putting out and then still I can really uh also be really rude and it's then i think a yes it's and then i think oh no and then you could think oh no i was really rude but exactly again then you just again stand Acceptance. up and say yeah. yes it's okay i can do it again and try again that's why i did my bro my website be the broadcast because it's like be the broadcast that you want to see into mm -hmm. the world we are all yeah. our own individual radio stations broadcasting our own stations to the world what are you feeding the field in every exactly. moment being conscious of that as many moments of the day as you can and making sure that if that energy were to come right back to you how would that make you feel because exactly. it's going to eventually so um yeah be the broadcast that's a very yeah. wise words there exactly just uh, just adding on to that theory um wait wait let me interrupt are... toshi okay I'm, yeah, kidding, I'm, kidding, I'm kidding i'm kidding i'm kidding i'm kidding i was I'm hoping kidding. you was gonna do that river <laughs> this is ladies night toshi <laughs> yeah, it is yeah good good yeah so what i would say is just uh when just uh if you when you are projecting you just need to uh sort of like decompartmentalize what you're doing because you're either um reaching out or reaching up so if you're reaching out to like your know, friends and family, you know, that might be another sort of like heart market. But yeah, I mean, maybe it's probably not best to get those involved. But yeah, and you are going to uh, sort of when you're reaching out that you are you are kind of like in the arena. You know, you every no brings you closer to yes. But you just have to know that you're in this arena full of energy and kind of you are going to get a lot of rejections. But that's where you have to sort of like toughen yourself up and, and test your metal. 
And then if you do get nagged out, <clears throat> what I would say is then reach up because you're sort of reaching out to people who don't know, but you can reach up to people who do know. You know, I always make myself available for anybody who uh, wants to ask me a question or who, or who wants to chat or who has an idea that they, that they want to try something. I'm tried climbing on the social ladder. You know, I mean, I ended up you know, climbing so far. I ended up literally having a one-to-one -one dinner with Craig and he paid by the way, <laughs> you know? So it's like, just just do that, you know? It's, and the, the more you work your way up, I mean, I, I can now have chats with like you know, Eli Afram and Kurt Waterk and, and all these guys that initially I was listening to. I was just like, how do they know all this stuff? You know, but eventually you, 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 you're you in the space and you start absorbing it and then you can add your own personality to it and your own creative ideas because that's what Bitcoin is. It's, it's a creative energy that you can just simply add your energy to. So what I would say is, yeah, like either reach out, but remember when you're reaching out, that's when you're likely to get you know, battered and bruised. But, you know, just deal with it, have it a bit of fun, but then reach up, climb that social ladder, get to know people, build relations, you know, um, Personal relationships I found in this space have been the best thing that has ever happened to me. Like like Ruth said, everybody in this space is amazing. So mm. just get to know as many people as you can, particularly those who you feel as though are above you, because if you think they're above you, then you can you can learn from them, you know, and, and hopefully they'll be good enough to give you their time, which then you can pass on. That's that's the way I look at it. I think to myself, if if Craig was good enough to give me his time, then surely I can be good enough to give my time to someone else and pass it on. Yes, well done. Well passing on the torch satoshi's torch there we go ladies and gentlemen thank you for joining us tonight i'm going to press the big red button um you folks can have a chat in the backstage i'm going to put some music on i won't be I, i'll drop you an email and say thanks thank you very much i'd love you all thanks, come on individually Sam. on the show and tell your story i know Ru uh, river uh roof uh rory casey we haven't had the chance to catch up individually please do come on the show and, and tell your story from a different angle and and the theme i think tonight that i'm discerning is a different viewpoint is looking at a different is is i like this the energy you're putting out what are you going to build how microtransactions transform things nothing set in stone uh, river i'm taking a leaf from your book what you're saying about you know the technology can be used good for bad as with any technology but what are we going to build what energy are we going to put you know this beautiful world this beautiful yeah. universe that we're in this one chance many chances us as individuals learning us as a group of people learning learning from each other whether it's uh top down middle wherever i'm on my knees i'm learning ladies and gentlemen so yeah absolute pleasure thank you for joining us um la ladies night and we take our hats off um and and salute you know the great work that's going on and 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 i've said before you know diddy thank you for coming on shout Hello, out to diddy everyone because it was her that that reached diddy out to me this. Uh, yeah. yeah absolutely reached out and and in fact diddy you haven't had the chance to say your final thought what's your final thought on today on the discussion that we've had Tell us your thought. I think you're muted. Unmute yourself. Press the free buttons at the bottom. No, still, still haven't got you. <laughs> no, we can't hear you. Um, microphone. Still muted. Microphone. No, microphone. no, it, we microphone. can't hear you. Microphone symbol. Got you. Okay, now can you hear me? Sorry. Yeah. Okay, yeah. Oh my gosh. Okay, so I had you on the computer. So I don't worry about that because you're echoing. Don't worry but about my that. final thoughts. Just basically, thank you so much, everybody, for us all getting together because I think we can achieve something really good um, with all of us working together, which is great. And thank you so much, Shem. And this space has actually kind of rescued me during the last 19 months or so, to be honest mm -hmm. with you. So, thank you. um, you know, it is inspirational and there are a lot of really nice people and good people to learn from as well. And I, um, like with Craig, I just, he's still, no matter how many lectures I've seen, he just still mm -hmm. fascinates me every time. And I love every yeah. single one of them. So it's weird because I've never been a fangirl, but I'm a fangirl in a kind of way that I really love what's coming <laughs> really out of this brain. You know? <laughs> um, 
but yeah so i'm i'm really grateful for everybody that i've met and you know my my story is not that interesting you know just go and see me on twitter and go and visit my website you know if you want to find out um i make mistakes like most people as well but um you know my my background was kind of i started as a child model and i was working in the theater and i did production management and then i kind of you know deviated from that and did acting um tv stuff etc i produce music because i you know I'm, I'm not the best musician in the world or the best producer but you know i have done that um i worked with a grime artist i was like a, a several years ago which was quite interesting but um this like you know the bsv itself and the blockchain this technology i was also a finance manager so that kind of really you know kind of really kept me enticed of what is this technology what is it doing and i was looking for um paid to click advertising and um, there is an actually there is actually an interview with craig mason that i did about ooh, was it october 2019 so mm-hmm. if you go and look up my my youtube channel which you can find via my twitter via my website you know you know then you can go and have a listen to me babbling on about my experience and where i've come from but otherwise i'm really yeah. it's really great i mean i love watching yeah exactly best you book. you got me to buy this book did i seriously yes it's, because it's awesome. you were talking about it i said all right fine i'll go buy it. it i mean it's 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 not that expensive and it just you know from start to finish it's actually really an easy read i mean it is. obviously I'm, I'm not the best mathematician in the world as well but you know I, I i can read the book and understand it very clearly which is great i just skip the math bit um you know um but like for me like you know river has been so supportive and so has ruth as well which has really kept me intrigued and interested in this space um and i know that yeah sometimes i can be a bit odd crazy do you know but i think we all are at times as well and especially so purely you there there, you couldn't be more you it's impossible like you're amazing you know i want to get i want to be able to do more art tutorial videos and more cooking videos and you know and and you know things like that which are just a little bit different from all the tech speak but might actually Mm -hmm. bring somebody in you know but it might not do some nfts i'm so there with you girl like let's do this i've got you know what the thing is i've got so much that i want to get through and so i'm finding Mm. so little time because i'm so interested in everything and i can't keep up with everything because there is so much innovation and there are so many people that i really want to listen to as well and you know all these interviews that go on but then it's like you know i just don't want to sit there and just be in the background anymore i want to try and contribute to to the space as well Mm -hmm. so um you know and bgt is a great show to watch because and 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 that that name as well bitcoin's got talent i mean how fantastic (laughs) and all of those people that come on there they've got such bright and new ideas um like for example with misha she's doing her peer tunes you know and from that she's also working um with myself and and a couple of you know developers on the and network which you see let me get it right awareness neural network explorer which is on top of bsv and that's going to be like a spotify so you know with with shem's um you know blair cast and then that together they should hopefully bring more because pe- music is a, a universal language as well and if we can Absolutely. unite people through music what a great way to introduce them to the blockchain space um you know so i do get quite passionate about it but it's like when i start speaking to people they kind of turn <laughs> off a little bit you know <laughs> it took me like two years to be able to get my mum to have a hand cash wallet and she sat there going oh it's gone up Oh, 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 it's gone down. Oh, it's gone up. <laughs> yeah. How do you, why have I got 0.001 of a penny sent to me? That's amazing. How did you do that? And it just brings so much, like, you know, I'm like, oh, this is cool. Because if I can get a 67 year old grandma to understand how to use hand cash, yeah. you know, then okay, I anyway. think I'm on it. Yeah, exactly. You know, <laughs> a six year old, a 67 year old, even like my best friend Jimmy, you know, he's an old rock legend musician and you know he's got a hand cash i know he's got long one of the longest names jimmy apple Apu, apple chow but you I know remember digging him that was a long ass name that's right <laughs> I remember that. he's, he's, I come on <laughs> i'll tell you a little bit about jimmy okay because he's like he's right like hold on legend, we're coming to the end and he's my best friend oh, oh, yeah. so <laughs> 
Yeah, no. Next, yeah, no, next so time, Diddy. We'll up, next we'll time. Yeah. So, <laughs> you know, it's just nice to know that people are listening to you. They're trying things out and they're getting on with it. And it's universal in that sense. But, yeah, I think un- universally music will bring us all together, if that makes sense. Amazing. Absolutely. Wonderful. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, thank you for a wonderful night. I'm going to press the red button. You folks can have a chit-chat in the backstage. Bye-bye. I'll come and join you in a minute. Au revoir.